present she is competitor number 188 please welcome adrian atkinson hello my name is adrian atkinson and in this video i will be showing you what i eat in a day on my if it fits your macros diet so i'm a physique athlete and i am trying to lose 10 pounds prior to in order to get ready for a contest prep. So I've given myself three months to lose the 10 pounds. So I will not get stage lean in this mini cut, but I am gonna try to lose 10 pounds. Um, earlier this year, I did get to 145 pounds, which is what I'm trying to get to now. However, I was not able to maintain it. So my weight went back up to 155 pounds and I've been 155 pounds for several months now. And I need to uh, be 10 pounds lighter in order to be in a good position to start a contest prep. And today's video, I'm gonna show you day one of what I'm eating and I'll show you the macros because I, it's a, if it fits your macros diet. I'll see you at breakfast. Come on, Rico. That's a wrap. <laughs> Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you my first meal of the day, which um, today is gonna be breakfast. And today is Saturday. It's for me the first day of the week. It's my favorite day because I have a fitness class that I take at 9.45 that I just love. So it's a total body fitness class and I like to get my breakfast in about an hour before, maybe an hour and a half before that class. So it's gonna be a fairly light breakfast. I'm going to do um, protein enriched um, cereal and I will um, use my scale. And let's get this scale on with the bow so it'll be at zero. And I will measure out how much um, how much cereal that I need. Okay, so that's about right. And I also have, um, now I'm lactose intolerant so I don't drink milk with my cereal and I don't necessarily like it with almond milk either. Um, instead, I add um, blueberries to my cereal. Now this is two ounces of blueberries. So I'm gonna add the blueberries and it's got a little bit of juice there. So in addition to the blueberries, I like to have, this is uh, it's my favorite yogurt right now. Um, and this combination is absolutely delicious. So they make one of these that's a little bit smaller and already blended, and that's the one I prefer, but this morning this is the one I have. It's a little bit more, a few more calories, but I got a great workout plan this morning. So I'll do my um, total body class, and then I will do about um, seven, um, no, probably about five lower body exercises. Um, because I consider the class to be a warm up when it comes to my glutes and my hamstrings and my quads, the class is a warm up. The rest of the body, it's, it works pretty good. So I'll finish off that workout um, with some machine work. So it's, it's that simple. I just mix this together. Um, that's my breakfast. I'll usually take my breakfast on a tray. I have um, 16 ounces of water. I'll show you how I mark that off on the tracker. And also eight ounces of coffee. Uh, so I will see you in the next clip. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. It's one of my favorites, so sweet. Hi, I'd like to show you how I track my water. This little water tracker I can run from my desktop or my cell phone with the Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now, um, in the morning, I usually have a bottle of water. And so a bottle of water would be 16 ounces, which is two eight ounce glasses. Or I can just click off one 
bottle of water. Either way, there's two pages to the tracker. But then when I go to the gym, my um, container holds 24 ounces. So it's easy for me to do it by glasses because that's 8, 16, 24 ounces of water. Now, if you're interested in getting a, a water tracker like my water tracker, you'll want to head over to um, my Etsy shop. And in my Etsy shop, in order to find it, simply put my name in the search, Adrian Atkinset, and it'll say, do you mean shop Adrian Atkinset? Yes, I named the shop after myself, so I could remember the name. There we go. And you can scroll down, and there's the hoodie I just had on today, but this is what we're after, the water tracker. It's $2.50 and you can get it in my Etsy store. Thanks a lot. Well, hello, I'm back. It is time for lunch. And for lunch, I am going to have um, salad with chicken and avocado. So I just got back from the gym about 20, 30 minutes ago. Um, and so while I was at the gym, I drank this full container, which is 24 ounces of water. And now I'm going to drink this container, which is 16 ounces and some change, um, but 16 ounces of water. And I've added my collagen supplement to it. And I'm also going to add my creatine. So I don't take um, very many supplements but um, the creatine really makes a, a difference and the collagen, I've had really good results. So I, I take these um, year round. So I'll just go ahead and put the little scoop of creatine in there. And shake it up. And there we go. So for the chicken, um, I usually do four ounces of chicken. So I have the bowl right here. Ah, avocado be nice, don't slide away. So here's my bowl. And um, today my chicken is um, trifecta. Um, yeah, sometimes I order um, chicken from them because it's already cooked. <laughs> so it really makes meal prepping um, quite easy. Um, other times I'll um, cook the breast, chicken breast myself. And I usually have a, oh, I left it in the kitchen. Let's pause here. So this is what I use to um, cut my chicken. You can use um, kitchen scissors if you like, but these are really nice. So um, bowl's already there, so it's going to be at zero. And I'm just gonna cut it until I have four ounces. Probably right there, we're right at four ounces. Okay. And the salad kit was already made. And the measurement for the salad kit is one cup. So one cup, I have a measuring cup here. Um, and the package says one cup. And that's about a cup. So we'll mix that in with the chicken. So a cup of salad. Um, I'm gonna add in a half of an avocado. So I have a half avocado left over. Just squeeze that out of there. Mm, yummy, yummy. I, I, I just love avocado. I can eat avocado just you know, this fresh avocado, I do miss. I used to have a, a avocado tree in California and it, it made the best avocados. It was called a bacon of all words, um, bacon avocado. And oh my God, those avocados were so delicious. And um, people would bring, I, I retired from school teaching and people would bring avocados from their trees during the time when they were, um, you know, they were flooding and coming down and oh my God, I love avocados. So the, um, this is the, the salad kit that I used. I love salad kits. Yeah. And um, when I can, that's what I use. It makes it really easy. So this is a very 
um, this is what I'm going to have for lunch. After my workout, um, I took I took um, some a protein shake to my workout. So after I finished my workout, I took this this container uh, with me to the gym, and it stayed actually stayed in the car. And this is the um, this is the protein drink um, that I like. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so good. And it's 20 grams of protein and only 100 calories. So it, it, it's kind of nice. And I always have a little, I like, I like it cold, so I put a little freezer pack in there to keep that cold. So yeah, this is, this is it. Oh, let's taste the avocado and the salad and a little bit of chicken. Let's get a little bit of every ounce of this on the fork. Hey, bon appetit. Mm. I love my food. Hello. Welcome back. It is time for dinner. And for dinner tonight, I am having um, purple sweet potato. So this is how the purple sweet potato um, cooks up. It looks like a white potato, but it's actually a sweet potato and it's purple, has a purple skin. It's very, very tasty and broccoli uh, so this is just steamed broccoli and then for my uh, meat i am having the tilapia that i love from costco tortilla crusted tilapia so i have measured out five ounces here and it is already cooked but that's a lot of food oh my gosh and I'm going to um, season my broccoli with a few olives. So I'm going to take a few olives that I got from um, the Olive Bar. I think they call it Mediterranean Bar at um, Whole Foods today. I stopped in there to return a package and um, oh, I just love these olives. So I'm just going to have um, about two and a little one that'll be enough to season the broccoli and um, I'm just gonna chop it up here chop the broccoli up put little olives in there with it oh it's gonna be so good I love steamed broccoli I can eat broccoli like um, a snack when it's sweet it just depends on the type of the time of year you get it and then sometimes you can just sweeten it up by just waiting before you um, cook fresh broccoli. So if you let it, leave it at room temperature and then put it in the refrigerator, it may sweeten up a little bit. So here's my meal. I also have a little um, pumpkin pie seasoning that I like to put on my sweet potato. So I'll put a little bit of that. Oh, don't want that much. i get the opening, there we go. I'll put a little bit of that on the um, sweet potato. And I could also put a tiny, tiny bit of my favorite butter. Um, not very much, just a tiny bit. Put a little bit of that on the sweet potato also. Here we go. And I am ready. Oh, oh my gosh, doesn't that look good? Mm. Wayne Provecha. <laughs> oh, don't forget, I started this a little earlier, but um, a bottle of water, of course, 16 ounces of water. And I actually uh, filter my water and reuse my bottles. I keep, um, of course, I keep uh, fresh bottles for my guests, but um, I use them at least. This one, I'll use, I use it for the whole day before I discard it. I really hate using plastic bottles, but it's just a convenience when you're um, counting your when you're counting your um, water bottles and you're on a cut. It's a convenience that I really like having. So that's it for today's video. I will see you. Oh, actually, I'm gonna need one more meal because I'm short about 30 grams of protein. So I will have a snack, a protein snack. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll do a protein drink. Um, yeah, so I won't have to show you that. So I'll do about 30, um, 30 grams of protein in a protein drink, and that'll be my snack. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.